my channel you guys today you're going to know everything that you need to know about youtube monetization how easy or how hard it is depending on the individual everything that you need to know how to apply for your pain and every single thing that you need to know i don't know i am also going to be telling you guys how much i have made so far and how much youtube paid me okay so from the topic of this video you guys i mean the title of this video you guys already know it's all about monetization and all of that so let's delve right into it okay now first thing did i welcome you guys welcome back to my channel if it is your first time this video might actually be beneficial to you if you're trying to start up your youtube journey you need to watch this video because you're hearing directly from somebody that started from scratch gave up at some point, picked up again, and finally got monetized. So you need my knowledge on this, especially if you've been a YouTuber for a while or you're starting out, okay? Now, the first thing you need to do is, of course, create a channel, which is quite easy, you know? You have a Gmail, you create one on YouTube, and you begin to post, okay? And for you to get monetized, you need um, 1,000 subscribers, and 4,000 watch hours or I think um, 10 million short views I'm not sure but the normal is 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hour let me readjust okay see getting 4,000 watch hour is easy and it is hard for me it was really hard and you know that um, because there is no manual there is no like notes you know when when you want to start off on something and there is a note for you like something to guide you it is easier for you to scale through but when you just like double into it like i did you're going to struggle you're going to struggle a bit okay and I started my YouTube journey in 2022 April and I, I, I dumped it. I dumped it at 182 subscribers because I didn't know what to do. I didn't, I didn't just know what to do. I was just all over the place. My subscriber was not growing. I wasn't even getting views. I'm not even sure YouTube algorithm even realized somebody like me existed. <laughs> okay, but that that's okay. That's, that's okay. Uh, yeah, so... In 2023 March and I'm like you know like after giving yourself the new year pep talk and growing my YouTube channel was one of the goals I set for myself in 2023 and January passed February passed and in March I sat myself down and spoke to myself and I said to myself you've started okay you've started what's the worst that could happen go back and start making videos you don't even know the particular one that is going to go viral and that was the motivation I needed and that day I just you know started filming I remember the first video that I posted after the one year break that I posted in March 2023 was on Vaseline now I am somebody that I have used Vaseline a lot of times and I have seen how good it works and how um, beneficial it can be to the skin so I just thought like okay let me make this video and just put it out there what's the worst that could happen and guess what that video like her currently still has the highest view if i'm not mistaken on my channel i posted that video it is on vaseline i don't know i'm going to put the link again in the comment section so you guys can take a look at that video i posted the video oh my god nepa i posted the video and you guys it got lots of views lots of likes lots of comments and i kid you not i've never been so proud of myself and i'm like this is all the clue that i need so i have to start filming i have to start posting because i had a lot of knowledge to share i had a lot of reviews a lot of products a lot of researches that i've made that i wanted to start putting out but i was just being discouraged and guys that was how I started posting all over, okay? Now that's a part. My subscriber count was also growing. So it was quite encouraging. So I understand you when your subscriber count is not growing and you decide to give up. It's okay to give up. It's also okay to get back up and get to work. That was what I did. 
the sole decision I took in March to start all over is the reason we are here today, guys. So it is okay to stop. It is also okay to start all over. Okay? Yeah, so when I started all over, it took me from between March to I think around September to get my 1,000 subscribers. And if you are my friend on Facebook, you would like you would know that I was literally like constituting a nuisance with my link. I got to popular um pages on Facebook, you know, pages that have traction, and then I post my my YouTube link my video link i was just posting it all over the place i don't even know if i got subscribers from those things that i was doing but people were seeing okay yeah i don't know if i'm being delusional but i want to believe that people were seeing everything and my subscriber count was growing and in september or so because i know i i reached the 1000 subscriber threshold before my birthday last year which was october so i either got that in august or September I'm going to look for um, a clip of it like a picture I screenshotted and attach it after getting my 1,000 subscribers now getting the 4,000 watch hour was not the problem my watch hour count was increasing but it was getting to that point where it was going to start dropping because one thing you need to know is that your subscriber your watch hour begins to count from the first video that you posted okay and if you posted your first video in March like I did and you don't meet the 4,000 watch hour in the next year's March your watch hour starts to drop so you need to ensure that you do everything up Nepal you need to ensure that you do everything within your power to get your 4,000 watch hour within that one year so when it was getting to like after Christmas, my watch hour was still at 3000 plus and I was asking myself, how do I get 4000 watch hour? Like I gave myself a target that I was going to get 4000 watch hour before the end of January. And guess what guys? I did it. Listen, you're the only person that can hold yourself back, right? You're the only one that can hold yourself back. Yes, if you decide to do something, you're going to get it done. You're going to achieve it. This is me trying to be motivational here. Set your mind to it and you will do, you can do it. So in case you're thinking of giving up on your YouTube channel, look at me. Look at me. Let me, let me inspire you, okay? Let me inspire you to keep pushing. So what did I do to get my 4,000 watch hour? And like I said, see, if I had known everything, that I know now before starting my YouTube channel, I would have gotten monetized in less than six months without any hassles. Trust me. Listen, focus on getting your 4,000 watch hour. Focus on that. Because if you get a 4,000 watch hour we, um, in less than a year, that has been checked out. It can no longer reduce. It can no longer. Then you focus on getting your subscriber. I am also going to like encourage you to grow your channel organically you see this thing of buying subscribers buying watch time hours just to get monetized at the end of the day it is the views that would give you the money that you would earn on youtube and when you buy subscribers these people are not people that are interested in your content they, they are people that basically was maybe coerced and they are probably not real humans but when you grow your channel when you post a video it comes up on somebody's for you page it comes up on somebody's um, recommended and they watch your video and then they go ahead to hit the subscribe button it means they like your content and they want to see more of it so subsequently when you post the video they want to watch it so if you're going to take my advice do not buy subscribers yeah thank you so after i got my 4000 um watch hours in january specifically i was over the moon i was super excited and now it was time for me to set up my google adsense and if you do not already have like a standing google adsense it's very easy for you to set up on your youtube page the prompt is just there for you to follow and set up your 
um, monetization um, tool, okay? Now, you're going to apply for monetization and they're going to get back to you like my own they got back to me in less than 24 hours when i got that news that oh you have been accepted into the youtube partnership program well that is the best news and listen guys you can actually be demonetized or you, you can actually get an email that you're not qualified for monetization because of certain reasons reused content especially if your contents are not original like the one that I am filming now. If you're somebody that makes reaction videos, you might likely have that kind of problem because I have seen like three persons on YouTube with that kind of problem. So you might want to, you know, take precaution so you do not, um, you do not get rejected into the YouTube monetization program because as much as we say, oh, we do this for passion, it is super exciting. It gladdens my heart to know that I am going to be earning money from something that I love doing. Okay. So yes. Yeah. So I got the email that I have been accepted into the YouTube partnership program. And it was also time for me to verify my, um, my details and all of that i went through that my pictures they're going to ask for your international passport i think that is the only means of identification that these um, people accept if you have nin it's not going to work so just go get yourself an international passport that is what you're going to use to verify yourself and when that is done you're not going to move into applying for your pin they're going to send you an email to request for your pin which is this is going to come like this okay and then when you open it you see your pin inside now for those of us in nigeria that we already know our addressing system is really bad and yeah it was actually a bit difficult because i requested for my first pin in january with the hope it was going to come in february but it didn't come but as I then, I was already earning money. My dollars were already trickling in. My $1, $2, $0.50 was just coming in that way. And you only have three chances of application. After that, you can actually um, verify yourself using troubleshooting, okay? So if I had known, maybe I wouldn't have even like maybe stressed myself that much and just waited. But I really wanted to verify everything and just get it over and done with so i applied for the second one now when you're applying look at this place where we have your address i don't know you have your address here you have address address line one and you have address line two you're going to put in your address in the address line one and when it comes to the address line two put in your phone number so that your address can show here your address can show here and your phone number can also show so when it gets to the post office they can pick it up call you and ask you to come get your pin now the second one that i applied for i put my phone number i didn't put my phone number the first and second one i didn't put my phone number or i did but it didn't just show at the back like this the number didn't show because I think this is the second pin that I applied for and it just had my address. And I think the only reason they were able to call me was that in February, I went to um, post office to talk to them about the Google Access pin and they told me they hadn't gotten any Google Access pin at the time. And then they asked me to write down my name and my phone number just in case it comes, they would now call me. That was how I was able to get this one. But I got this one after I applied for the third time. I applied for the third time. I used a post office in the center of town because I live outskirts. So I used a post office at the center of town. I think Geriki. That was where I used. If you live in Abuja, I used Geriki. And then I applied. Guess what? This pin came in less than 10 days of applying. So you see, it's not really hard to get this pin. We're probably applying the wrong way. We're not putting our phone numbers for this people to be able to contact us. And because our addressing system in Nigeria is, is very poor, like for them to even find your address is, is pretty hard. So the third pin I applied for came and they called me. Not going from my house to the um, 
post office is quite far and I am going to spend a lot more on both. And then they offered me the option of confirming my address, my name and everything and got my permission to open it up and send me the pin. That was what I used to verify myself like last month or oh, I think this is June, in May. I verified myself in May, but this one came in June. I picked this up about, I think I picked this up on the 26th or 27th of June. So I just went to go and collect it so that I can hold it in my hand like this. You know, something that stressed me so much so I can hold it in my hand and show you guys that, yeah, my pin came. So I applied three times and my pin came twice. Yeah, maybe the first one might just be laying around somewhere. Who knows? So if you're going to apply for your PIN, please put your phone number so it is easier for them to contact you when it comes. Once your PIN comes, it's all over, guys. It's all over. You can start earning money, okay? So because the thing is, if you they gave me a deadline, which is this June. So if I hadn't gotten my PIN this June, my ads would stop saving. And I would stop earning money and I don't really know honestly if I was going to lose the monies that I had already made and that was so scary I didn't want that for myself because if you are a youtuber that has spent earning you will know a small youtuber you will know how small how tiny this money trickles in so imagine losing it and at the time I was almost like close because currently I have reached my payment threshold so i would be expecting my first paycheck from youtube any moment from next month because this month is june it is done the next payment should be like around i don't know maybe six to eight to ten of the next month that is how they pay so guys i am so excited and i have you guys to thank thank you guys so much for um engaging me for always watching my videos thank you guys so much i i started this as a as a joke okay i just randomly i just okay let me go and start a youtube channel and at the time another thing you need to do as a new youtuber you need to niche down you need to niche down because when i started if you scroll down to my video i did a couple of cooking videos um, and I did skincare and I did random gist and of all those three videos that those three categories of videos that I made It was the skincare that gained more traction. So I just knew that okay This should be my niche since it is something that I love to do something that I have great interest in Let me just focus on it and then I focused on skincare it's better for you to have multiple YouTube channels with different niches than to have one YouTube channel and have multiple niches. You know, the algorithm is just going to be confused. Okay? So you need to niche down when you're starting your YouTube channel. And I know that you've heard this a billion times over again. You need to be consistent. You need to be consistent. That's, that's the truth. And you don't need the gadget. You don't need all the gadgets in the world. This video that I am currently filming, I'm filming with my phone, my Samsung S23 Ultra. If you, and I just got this in March. So all the videos that I've been filming way back, I was filming with my S21 Ultra. This one, that's what I, I was filming with. And the qualities are always good. Even at the time, I didn't even know much about editing. If you go down to my video, you're going to see it. I didn't know much about editing. I didn't know I can, you know tick up the brightness of my video and all of that i didn't know i didn't know all of that so but since i got this phone i started practicing more um with on my cap cuts because i edit my videos with cap cuts okay so i film directly from my phone camera and i move them to my cap cut and i edit from there so that is it guys if you want to start a youtube channel you don't you don't have to wait until you get the entire gadget you can start with your phone even my ring light over here i hardly even use it you know it's the rainy season and the weather is not exactly so bright right now so i just try to like use it sometimes but currently i just have the bulb in my room is it a bulb a mini chandelier in my room and of course the light from the side of my window i can't open this window because it's going to you know 
be straight on my screen and it's going to mess everything up so this is just my setup in my room it is in my living room it is a different setup entirely so it is just my phone and a tripod stand so you can start nothing is actually keeping you if you have interest in anything if you have knowledge in anything that you want to share create a youtube channel and start filming start creating okay i don't know if I did justice to this particular video and yes guys i cannot wait to get my first earning and yes thank you guys so much okay thank you so much i appreciate you i appreciate your support every single like every single share every single comment every single click to watch my video and every single subscribe button that you click Thank you guys so much. I hope this video is useful to you. I hope you learned something from it if you're a new YouTuber. And bonus points. To get your 4,000 watch hours. You guys are meant to pay me for this knowledge. But yeah, I'm just going to share it with you. You need to create a playlist. Create a playlist. How do you create a playlist? It's very simple. Just go to your YouTube pick your videos okay pick your videos and maybe 20 you can even pick all of your videos create that playlist and share the link to your friends that was what i did to get to get my own um 4000 watch hour like i got it with, with, within january beginning of january to like 20th of january i got my 4000 watch hour complete because i had about 3400 and my watch hours were already dropping at the time okay it was already dropping at the time so create a playlist share your link with your friends especially people that are outside the country that have access to um unlimited data so they can help you to be streaming Let I shared my link to about four or five of my friends, but there was this my friend that stood out for me. He was constantly streaming my videos. Thank you so much. If you get to watch this, I appreciate you. And I really do not take you for granted. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> And other of my friends I shared to, they viewed my videos, they streamed my playlist, and before I knew what was happening, you guys, even my brother, my brother, I shared my link to him, like, and he was streaming my videos, and I was able to get my 4,000 watch hour before the end of January 2024, got monetized, and I am about to get my first paycheck in July. Again, you need to be consistent, you need to be patient, and you need to niche down. Thank you guys so much. Please do not forget to give this video a huge and massive thumbs up. And don't forget to um, subscribe if you haven't. Also share this video. If you are a new YouTuber, share this video. And also watch it to the end. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye guys.